we're coming off the back of, of a month's football when we were all together where you know people were talking about our fans almost as much as, as the football I was supporters in France were a credit to the nation. Um, they certainly come out of it you know really well. Um, and I think we know on Monday evening that there'll be a, a sold out stadium that'll be right behind their team and, and that bond will be just as strong as when it was last seen on the pitch in, in the semi-final. No, it's great memories. It's uh, something that will live with us all forever. But um, like Chris says, it's it's onwards and upwards. We've got um, we've got a tough campaign coming up, and it starts um, the big game on Monday. So we need to uh, put that to one side and move on to this now. It's uh, it's a group of feel we can really go and attack. It's um, it's something we can take a lot of confidence from the summer. And uh, the lads, like I said, are, are buzzing to get back together and looking forward to the challenge. And for us, the goal now is obviously qualification, so um, it's probably the first time we're going into a, a group stage with this kind of confidence on the back of the last tournament, so it's, um, it's exciting times. People think in international football when you play lesser teams or teams in the rankings that are quite low that it's going to be a 4-5-0 game every time and often than not it, it doesn't work out that way. You know, People have to be low in the rankings, but just because people aren't aware of their players or they're not household names doesn't mean they're not good football players. Um, but we'll prepare in, in the exact same way for this game as we did for our last one, whether that was a semi-final or, or the opening game of, of, a, of a qualifying campaign. So, so we'll treat them the exact same and, and hopefully we get all the information and it's enough to, to get the three points on the night.